taking a drive. Where are we going? So let's get started. Today we're over here back at Minnesota Equipment in Rogers. Today we're gonna we're talking again with Eric. Eric, thanks for joining yep, us here. Absolutely. And we want to talk about this brand new mower that I'm picking up, the Toro 5000 series. So, Eric, can you just give me a brief overview on this mower? What's so nice about this particular one? Yeah, well, definitely in the commercial grade. There's only really uh, one size with a 60 above it. Um, so running your premium components, Kawasaki motor, um, full heavy hydros, um, their turbo force mower deck. Um, definitely one and done for a lot of people. Otherwise, if they're used, you know, um, very hard, put a lot of hours on them. We see a lot of people rotate them, you know, through every three, four years. So it sure. just kind of depends on what you want to get out of them. It, so and now this mower is a hanging type. Yep, right there. floating deck. Floating um, deck. Yep, four point connection with the uh, chain connection on the 5000 series. Okay. Yep. And I did notice, again, you had mentioned it is the Kawasaki on yep. this particular mower. Their FX motor, their commercial grade um, motor with the better filtration system. Um, yeah, definitely what we like to see in our heavier duty, longer lasting And what's machines. the horse on power on this particular 25 unit? and a half. Okay. Yep, 25 and a half. And um, so my understanding is now that they're going with the 2000, what, 2000, 4000? 6000 series? Is that what yep, they're doing? Yep, 2000. Um, kind of went away from the threes, uh, jumped into the four, five, and six. There's a, also a seven and a 75. Right. Um, but they're getting rid of the five, so, right? Um, no, the five's sticking around. Oh, it is sticking yeah, around. Yeah, five sticking around. Oh, okay. I thought um, they were going to get rid of the 5000 series. No, they're trying to promote their 4000 series a little bit more into the residential, but also not into the commercial, you know, or also into the commercial a little gotcha. bit. Gotcha. Okay. Um, fives and six have been very, very common for the commercial use. I do see some. Years. Is the commercial grade more considered at the 5000? Is that where the Technically, official? their Z Masters started out down in the two. So the Z Master lineup is what they would consider anything and more of a commercial built a little heavier okay. um, for the for the. Build. So something to keep in mind for our viewers that you know you don't have to spend this kind of money to get a five thousand. You can still get in a commercial ma uh, grade mower by getting a Z Masters two thousand or four thousand. Yeah, it kind of starts in that six thousand, seven thousand dollar range and can kind of go up from there. Sure. But okay, so we got we said we would talked about this earlier 24 inch tires on yep. this. Um, a really nice suspension seat that's adjustable. That I wanted to get to yeah. the seat. <clears throat> so, so, along with the tire size, the, the seat uh, about as nice as they come. You can adjust it to your weight or preference. This and yeah, I really like that putting yeah. that weight in there, your weight, and uh, and then sitting on it and have that seat adjusted for you. Yep, easy uh, slide back and forth. Um, so a very comfortable ride. Yep. And then Eric, is there any hidden knobs or features that I need to know about this that I'm not going to be able to? Um, that I don't nothing know. Nothing really hidden. They just try to make you know cleaning as easy as possible. This plate um, cleaning and service. The plate flips up. Easy access okay. there. The panels come off on the side. The plastic shrouds. Um, those For pop off changing. very easy. Yep. Okay. So belt changes. Just blowing it off when you're done. You yep. know, at the end of each job or at the end of each day. Yep. Um, whatever you do, but. Okay, Eric, could you, could you tell me what this knob is for? So it's a way that you can um, loosen this, move it to different um, settings so that your discharge is, is a little different pattern. So you can open it up for a full discharge. Gotcha. If it's a little uh, more on the wet side, you can um, move it over so that it's, it, it uh, 
kind of breaks up the clumping. Okay. Right. I do see it's how it says sun, uh, what's the bagging yep. and, and wet. Right. Okay. So it breaks up the, the clumpage and uh, does a, a better job for uh, a smooth discharge. Okay. So then a couple of quick questions on this particular one. Is there, any, is there any safe place to stand on this deck to get up or is it best to come up over the front? There, you can come up over the front, otherwise on the left side, your trim side, there's a, I see a it now. to step on. It's a very rigid mower deck, so really you can step on it anywhere. It's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. Uh, very secure. Okay, um, just good to know that there's something over yep. there to stand on. Same, same way of adjusting my height right here. Yep. Pretty known for that. Move your pin to wherever you want it. Um, very clear height adjustments, and then you depress on your pedal, pull the latch, and it'll drop down to where you chose. Gotcha. Press the pedal, pull that. Yep. Good to go. And then to get it to lock up, kind of do the backwards uh, routine. Back. Okay. Eric, how about Zerx fittings for uh, any any kind of uh, greasing that I need to do on this thing, or is it pretty much all sealed? Pretty much all sealed. Every Toro is a little different, whether they put them up on the front uh, caster wheels or not, but uh, Toro is pretty good with just making everything sealed. You okay. Can find one here or there on a different model, um, but uh, the book will show on each model series um, what fittings uh, that you can. Okay, and then these are not flat run run flat tires, are they? Uh, they're not on the five thousand series. They are on a six thousand. They series. are okay. Yep. Is that uh, something I could change out if I wanted to? I do to, believe they would fit. Yep. To put that on there, yep. and then I have another question about mulching. Sure. So I understand there's an entire mulch kit that actually you can't just put mulching blades yep. on. You got a recycling kit. You can you can add a mulch kit to it. it it's a baffle kit that gets bolted underneath the deck. Um, pretty much in, in cases each blade so each blade is cutting yep mulching and dropping um, so you're not just taking 60 inches of grass and hitting a brick wall with it right so it's, it's evenly mulching and, and cutting so is that something that somebody's able to install themselves or is that something that you best could. to be Absolutely. installed at the fact uh, at, with you guys each side of the deck um, whether that's uh, a jack or safety ramps as long as there's a safe way of doing it you can do that on your own okay Something I wanted to take into consideration because I think I do want to get a mulch kit for sure. it uh, down the road. And you guys sell them here at we the dealership. Here. Sometimes, certain times of year we'll stock them, sometimes we don't. So just maybe make sure you plan ahead with that. So okay. That, uh, allow a week or so to get one. All right, cool. That sounds good. Just to take a walk on the other side. Yeah. I mean, we got over here, sorry, uh, Jess. Over here, we got just the normal controls, right? We got yep. our ignition. Your cluster here, key ignition. Um, uh, your hour meter, um, it will tell you your fuel gauge, um, tells you if your parking brake is on or off, if your arms are in or out, if your PTO is on or off. So, um, And then <clears throat> it's kind of your warning to where if something's um, mechanically wrong or electronically wrong, it'll notify you. Oh, okay. The there. But okay. otherwise, yeah, throttle choke, PTO engagement for your mower deck. Uh, pretty straightforward, like most uh, most are. Standard air cooled motor, um, like we talked. Um, pretty easy access to everything. You can get underneath the seat. Not much going on, but put the fuel tank under there. Okay, uh, perfect. Storage on the side. Seat flips to over. Or seat flips over, basically just. Uh, uh, oh, there's a release. Okay, gotcha. Um, there are hydro overfills, so just make sure that there's hydraulic oil within those reservoirs. The fuel shut off. Fuel shut off. Okay. Oh, these are the hydros? Yep, they're your hydro overfills. So okay. You can make sure that oil is topped off as needed. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a good mower for you. It's going to last you a long time, uh, especially as an owner operator. It's they're usually a little bit more well taken care of. Right, right. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Well, thanks again, Eric, yeah, for, for devoting yep. your time to me. Wow. And, uh, Everybody else, uh, if you haven't already and you want to do so, if you want to upgrade your mowers, this is a good time to do it. Check into one of these 5000 series or any one of the other Z-Master series that Toro has the offer. Get them while they're still in stock. And that's why I'm getting this. Get it while it's in stock. So and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Show us, show us some love. And with that, I'll see you in the green. You have yourself a great day. Take care. Awesome.